Eukaryotic cells present an interesting conundrum, and that's because all of the DNA, all of the genetic material in the eukaryotic cell has to fit within a small nucleus, a membrane-bound nucleus. And this presents a problem for eukaryotic cells because there's so much DNA that needs to fit into a small place. And so an answer was developed that involves packing this DNA using proteins known as histones. And a histone is something that is a 10 nanometer thick protein approximately. And what happens is the DNA wraps around these histones. And so they facilitate this process by allowing the DNA to wrap around them. But that alone isn't enough to condense the DNA so that it fits into the nucleus. And so what happens with histones is that histones form octamers. They fit together in eight histone units, all with DNA wrapping around them. And this is called a nucleosome. A nucleosome is an octamer of histones, and it has a 30 nanometer diameter approximately. So the DNA basically fits in here and it just coils repeatedly around each of the individual histones in this arrangement. And that allows you to fit a large amount of DNA within a fairly small volume in the eukaryotic cell. So these nucleosomes are essential for allowing you to fit all of the DNA of a eukaryotic organism into its smaller nucleus. And even then, the nucleosomes can join together and form larger fibers of nucleosomes. And so histones are very, very important because they allow you to pack this genetic material. But it does also raise its own issue, and that is that this DNA must be accessible for different polymerases, for example, to be able to replicate and transcribe the genetic code. And so there are various processes involved in how do you regulate the amount of coiled and tightly wrapped DNA so that it fits into the nucleus while also having it be accessible. And so there are a number of modifications that can be made to the histone proteins. And there are various cellular processes that dictate when the DNA will coil and when it will be released into a more relaxed form known as euchromatin that is thus available for transcription and replication.